Okay, all right, today uh, we are working on a LC9. It's an all aluminum 5.3 liter LS motor. Came out of a 2011 Chevy Silverado half ton. Uh, this truck came to us because when you, when you fired it up when it was cold, it'd have maybe 40 pounds of oil pressure. Take it and drive it, go down the road a little bit, oil light would come on. So in order for the oil light to come on, that means it's got less than 10 pounds of oil pressure. So uh, the customer had already replaced the screen in the uh, underneath the oil sending unit. They uh, put a new oil sending unit on the course, hoping that was the problem. It's not. I I, uh, I checked it with a. I plugged the scan tool into it, and, and sure enough, it everything's reading right. And it's. Uh, I've also plugged a mechanical gauge into it, and sure enough, it it has less than 10 pounds of oil pressure. Uh, it's also it's a, a displacement on demand engine. Um, I don't have anything at all nice to say about them, other than I appreciate that they make them because that's gets the fuel economy that they need to reach and that gives us LS motors to play with. So it's kind of a necessary evil uh, that we have to deal with, but a lot of the problems with these year pickups are, are related to the displacement on demand. So we're gonna tear this motor apart. We're gonna see what the source is for the low oil pressure. Um, in order to get this far on it, I said, well, we'll pull the oil pan off of it. And uh, sure enough, in the oil pan, no, no big chunks, but if you run your finger through the, the bottom of the oil pan, there's a little stream of, of just real fine aluminum particles. So uh, most likely, cam bearing, okay? I pulled one main bearing down, it looks great. And then I pulled uh, one connecting rod down and it looked great also. So I'm hoping the crank's fine. They're basically hoping that the lower end's okay, except for the cam bearings, but we'll see. Uh, also, it's low mileage. It doesn't have a lot of miles on it either. No more than 130,000 miles on it, which you might say it's not. that's a lot of miles, but really it's not. This thing was well taken care of, and there wasn't any reason for, for it to have 10 pounds of oil pressure, really. But I've taken these apart that had less than 100,000 miles on them, and you could tell like on the rocker arms that no oil had been getting up to them at all. So that it'd be perfectly dry in here. It looked like it'd sat for years, but I just ran it that morning, you know? And they didn't have any engine noise or anything, but it's still, you know, no oil getting up to the top of the engine. So this is prone to leaking underneath here. Sometimes the bolts are just loose and this plate will be leaking. That's the, um, the plate that makes the DOD work. Um, so, so, like I said, we're gonna figure out why it doesn't have any oil pressure. And then uh, if we can fix that problem, we're gonna do a delete on the displacement on demand on it. So, so let's do it. All right, let's start by taking this stupid thing off. Uh, <laughs> There's a name for this thing. I can't remember what it's called. This plate, maybe somebody could tell me. End of all the problems with it. The worst thing ever. I mean, it, nothing could go wrong there, right? Yeah, that definitely yeah. doesn't look complicated. Yeah, so. Each one of those is just a little, basically, kind of a solenoid that's uh, controlled by its oil pressure that feeds oil through those channels, down through there, and down to the uh, hydraulic lifters that are special for this engine. So the hydraulic lifter uh, lifts up off the camshaft and uh, doesn't open up the, the valves. So that's how that works. Terrible idea. Okay. Somebody thought it was a good idea. Oh, I bet you the engineers, when they were, when they, whoever come up with that, mm -hmm. they all had like a meeting and they were giving them a big pat on the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Plus, idea <laughs> of the year. No, it's stuck. It saves how much gas, but how much, how much gas has been spent fixing this? Yeah. Problem. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, is that in there? Oh, okay. 
Okay. I panicked. Don't panic. Okay. The heads are fine, we know that. I'm just gonna put them over there on the cart and then I'll look at the uh, rockers individually afterwards, okay? How do the push rods look? Look pretty good. Pretty shiny. Okay. Cool. All right, so now we need to start keeping stuff in order. Uh, the push rods, they all look real nice still, right? Yeah. Nothing look scored or rough. Yeah. Okay. Gas. Gas. We'll reuse this gasket. Oh, I think so. Uh, I'll just put a little. I'll wipe some. Silicone on it, ultra blue. Ooh, there you go. Fix it up. But we do need to keep them, okay? Okay. Because we do want to get the exact same head gaskets, all right? So we don't want to chuck them just yet until we get all the parts coming for it. Okay, so these are the lifters that are part of the displacement on demand. Somehow or another, oil is uh, applied to them uh, somehow, and they end up lifting up off of the uh, can. Uh, sometimes these get hung up, like they'll come in with like a just a like a number one misfire or something like that, number one cylinder misfire, and one of these is stuck up, and uh, you can get them to pop back down and everything will be fine again for a little while but uh but that's the difference between the displacement on demand hydraulic lifter and then uh, a regular one so definitely not going to get reused so we'll just uh i don't care about keeping them in order or anything the trays are different also so they're junk. Also, you don't, I don't care about ever having those again. pump off and these are supposed to be they already have high volume oil pumps on them okay displacement on demand ones so we'll take it apart and we'll see what kind of condition the oil pumps in got one. that's not a snap on I know but it was free and in some instances free is better than snap on This is a uh, variable valve timing uh, cam gear. Somebody is all about the ball. Hey, let's get the ball, will you? Oh, oh no. Oh, 
So let's pull the pistons out of it. Number one. Part and then we'll look at it later. Alright, let's do the main caps. Okay. Already pretty loosened. They weren't this loose when I took the engine out. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah, I don't think that would work very good. Uh oh. Ooh, you know what this is? Huh? What's that? Oh, is it a knock sensor? It's a knock sensor. Oh, I got it right. Yep. I learned something. Yep. Oh my goodness. I can't be stopped. I've learned. Yep, definitely can't be stopped. Can you? <laughs> okay, I already did the end bolts, but uh, so. Okay, it's the main closest to the oil pump. Looks pretty good. Number two, not too bad. Not too bad. That's the thrust bearing. Number three main. Uh, I don't say that's too bad. And the last one. Still not that bad. Okay. When you're talking 10, 10 pounds of oil pressure. Pretty good. Okay. I think it'll polish up. It'll be just fine. <clears throat> That's my opinion, but I always leave it up to the machine shop guys. They, they know better, but. Yeah. Um, trouble because then we don't know what the deal was with the oil pressure. Yeah. So. to take something apart and it's actually broken. Yeah. The other ones look bad too? Yeah. Ah! Ah! Did you? I got sprayed. You can really see it there. 
cancer with the light. All right, so as we suspected, uh, this thing's got worn camshaft bearings. That's pretty impressive that it had that low oil pressure and uh, it seems like the crank's still fine on it. All those look, the rods and main journals look good. So uh, I hope we can have that polished, put bearings in it and we'll see. Machine shop will decide that. Uh, so from this point, all I got to do is I'm going to go through and, and keep everything in order of uh, which cylinder they went to. The camshaft, that's junk. You don't use a, a DOD camshaft, you end up having to buy a new one. This one's worn anyway, but if it was good, you still have to replace it. Uh, I guess if you don't replace it and you just put regular lifters in it, you'll have four cylinders that are, are like putting out a quarter less compression or something like that. So, huh. uh, and it can't be the height so it has to be like the uh, the profile of the load, I would think, that would make that happen. Yeah, but, I don't know. I don't know but camshafts are some kind of wizardry. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Maybe I'll keep this one and measure it for fun. Ooh, that'd be cool. You know. Uh, so, uh, so I'll keep all this stuff in order. Uh, I'll still have to look at the uh, rocker arms and make sure the rocker arms aren't worn any, but. From the ends of the push rods, I don't think they are. So, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you would please, and ring that bell and you'll get a notification when we uh, upload the part two of this uh, DOD delete. So, uh, thanks again, appreciate it.